Hey, this is Gopar, and this is another YouTube tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about lists, and also another thing called concepts, which is the main thing I want to get to. Uh, want to get to. But first, um, before we get that, I'm going to define some simple two functions that we that you'll all and all of us will most likely be using when we use lists. Um, so. First, let, let me define a quick uh, list since I already have this in my kill ring. I'm just going to put post it in here. And yes, so I press enter. So cool. Now we have a list that contains pizza, pineapple, and Shrek into the variable go part list. And by the way, and yes, these three things do go together, of course. Nobody would argue that. All right, cool. Now, let's say if we want to get the first element from the list, how will we do that? Well, we already have a function for that. It's pronounced, uh, I'm sorry, it's uh, called car. So car and then uh, go par list. And if we do that, it will give us the first uh, element. But all right, cool. But to get the rest of the other elements, we used to we have to use this other function called CDR or cutter, I believe. Um, but I'm just going to stick to CDR because uh, cutter sounds weird and I'm not sure if that's actually how you pronounce it. Anywho, um, so if we do this, we'll get the remainder of the list. Bam. So there you go. You see that? So also we can just uh, combine these functions together. So if I want to get the first element of the remainder of the other elements, then that will give me pineapple, obviously. And then um, if I want to, oops, if I want to get the remainder of the remainder, Oops, I have more than one. Yeah, there you go. The remainder of the remainder, then it's just Shrek. So yeah, you get the point. Um, so yeah, that's a quick, brief uh, overview on uh, using those two functions. Now, the reason why I wanted to go over these two functions is because I want to talk about these things called concels, which is actually how lists are made up in Elisp. Now, con you can think of concels as linked list. And just like linked list, there's a way to get the nodes value and the next node. And to and since we already use car and CDR, you can think of these two functions as car as to getting the current node, and then CDR as to get the next uh, the next node. So those are you know th I made those examples just so you can kind of have something to visualize in case you don't know what linked lists are. Um, but anywho, so cool. We have um, so we now know that concels ha are like linked lists and they have a node value and they have a pointer that points to the next node. All right, cool. So what do you do with this information? Well, nothing yet, <laughs> obviously. So I'm going to show you how lists uh, look like or how con how how you how consoles will look if you explicitly tell Lisp. So let me give you an example. Um, it's actually easier if I just show you and shut up. So here we go. Uh, so I queue another list. And we're going to set that to pizza, the exact same thing we had on top. Dot, um, pineapple. Can't even spell that. And then finally, Shrek. Now, what do you think this is going to evaluate to? Well, let me press enter. Boom. Look at that. It's the exact same thing. Now, I wonder why. Now, let's see what happens if we do car. Boom. Same. CDR. Boom, pineapple and Shrek, exactly the same thing. Um, the only difference is that we have a dot that, and we're wrapping the other the other elements in parens. But you saw when we evaluated, it's the exact same thing. Now, when we use this dot thing, um, when we define lists in this uh, structure, it's actually called a dotted notation. You can obviously read more about that in the documentation. I'm just briefly going going over that right here, so you guys. Uh, know know about it, and I'll post all the links and to the documentation on the on the description, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, um, we since uh, since I said this is one way of defining a list, but you're not really going to see that um, way of defining things unless you're doing something called an association list, which I'll talk about later, not in this video, but that also uses uh, dotted notation. Now, um, in this way that. That we're defining it in the dotted notation, you can visually see the separation. So it's saying, hey, the left side is the no value, and then the right side is the you know the pointers to the rest. And then also, since this since it's pointing to pineapple, it says, hey, pineapple is a value, and then here's the here's the next uh, node that I'm pointing to, and it's Shrek, and it doesn't point anything, so it's no. Boom. Simple as that. So cool. Now, what happens? Um, what happens if uh, Oops, 
Uh, let me do set another. What happens if we don't use parens? Um, curiosity might have peaked, so let's do Shrek. So what do you suspect is going to happen? Is it going to be an error? Is it just going to say, yeah, sure, why not? Well, let's press enter. Boom. What is this? It just created another another list. So let's see. Um, oops. Um, so oops, it saved into another. So what do you think is going to happen if we press, if we evaluate this? Well, let's go ahead. Boom. Pizza. All right, cool, cool. Nothing, nothing different. So what happens if we press CDR? Shrek. Bam. All right. Cool. 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 Now, if you're paying attention, you might have noticed something. Um, this is just by itself. But when we do, um, let's see, CDR and then CDR of uh, Gopar list. So th this, I'm also gonna grab uh, grab Shrek from the Gopar list. If I if I do it this way, boom, Shrek. Now, why is this? in parens but this not well this is simple um, con uh, when I said con cells are like link list that's exactly what I meant they are like they are not exactly like link list when uh, so a link list can a point can grab the nodes value right and it also has a pointer to the next to the next node but that pointer doesn't have to point to the next node it can point to whatever you want I mean in this case I can also make it let's see I can make it point to like uh, like if I could I can make it point to like a pizza factory or I don't know a ice cream bakery whatever you know it doesn't matter what we're putting in there as long as it's a valid Lisp object Lisp doesn't care as long as it says hey as long as that point as long as I point to something and I can evaluate it or it's an actual Lisp object then I don't care what it is if it's an actual if it's another console or if it's just a number or whatever so I can just put number and also the same thing and I can do CDR uh, pizza oh, I'm sorry no CDR another and 45 bam but if I did it the old way it would just be boom another and then um, oops I just did the same thing twice CDR uh, another 45 that on what's going on is that when we do it this way then the quote-unquote normal way is that Emacs uh, is that e Elisp is automatically trying to be helpful he's saying hey you wrote it like this but you probably meant this this method that uh, 45 that's what is that's what he's doing in the back so he's so Elisp is like hey you probably meant this so I'm gonna help you out and you actually and is actually doing this this bit uh, in the back so you don't have to worry so so you don't have to do it because I mean typing the dot every single time and wrapping it in parens that's kind of a pain so it's just trying to help you out right here so cool um let's see is there anything else that I should go over um, I think this is a good stopping point I mean um, again I'll post all the documentation to uh, I mean in the description to all this that I just went over so you can read up more about it and also it'll be a lot more clear so remember guys always read the documentation because that's always better than watching YouTube videos you shouldn't watch videos you should read the documentation I mean yeah <laughs> all right cool um, I think that is it sweet right on